Wow. Look at this place. End of the world. This definitely looks like an apocalyptic end of the world thing. Gorge, is that all that's left of the worlds taken by the heartless? Wow, I know, right? Those worlds will be restored if we beat Ansem, right? You betcha! It should but be. If we do beat him, and all these worlds become restored and disconnected, what's gonna happen to this place? And to us? That's a good question. This is a heartless world, so maybe it'll just disappear. Huh? What? But no worries. Even if this place goes poof, our hearts ain't going nowhere. I'm sure we'll find our pals again. Yep, I just know that That's such an will. anime thing to say. <laughs> Hearing Goofy say all this anime yeah. stuff is a little uncanny. Right. But he's right. As long as we stick together, I'll return we'll be good to go. I promise. Hmm. Notice there's no music playing. Now we step forward. Holy crap! Heartless! Okay, let's throw off Ragnarok. Press triangle, and you're gonna fire lasers. Wait until the very last possible second to press triangle, and you're gonna shoot up a bunch of lasers. If you press it too soon, you won't uh, set up as many lasers. It's a really cool limit, and I love using it. Oh yeah. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. Anyway. Uh, these Heartless are... Oh, I got my first scale. That is one of the synthesis items I was talking about. Those are called Invisibles. Um, yeah, they're pretty tough. But again, you've come this far. They shouldn't be that big of a uh, thing. That's a Mithril Shroud. I don't think I'm gonna need that, but maybe I will. If you do open up some of the treasure chest... It'll be plotted right into a boss fight. Well, not a boss, more Heartless. So yeah, this Heartless, uh, this world is pretty much made up of these Invisibles, and there's one other Heartless that we have not seen yet. They'll pop up soon, though. My strategy is just to use Ragnarok. Oh, Ragnarok is so awesome. Oh, Donald. But you do get an item for um, for defeating those heartless in those chests. Wait, let's pick up this one. This shouldn't be a fight. Yep. I believe it's every other treasure chest is going to be a fight. So I'm going to go ahead and use an ether. Oh, behemoth. Okay. We're gonna go and fight another behemoth. Why not? <laughs> We're gonna fight quite a number of them throughout the rest of the game. Again, same strategy as before. Gravity! Bring him down. You know, Donald, you could have used that error on me. I'm just saying. If Goofy dies, it's no big deal. If I die, it's the end of the game. Ooh, all right, we're gonna dodge. Oh, dodged a little too late there. That's okay. Just aim for the horn. Almost there. Anyway, oh, the mount music's picking up. I love the music in this part of the game. It's like going through um through a sympathy a sim sympathy. Symphony when they have a choir singing. Roll out. Oh! Alright, this is our other Heartless that are gonna appear, and I am so sorry I forgot the names of these things. So, as you can see, at some point they're gonna use their wings to cover themselves. They're pretty much in. Uh, not totally invincible, but it's really hard to, to hit them. I believe the Ragnarite lasers can still get them. Alright, done with that. Can we get that? Nope. Okay. Yeah, you can definitely tell this is endgame stuff. Oh, by the way, there are invisible um, walls around this spot. Just, um... 
If you look at the uh, the plot, well, not the platforms here. Um, if you just follow, they kind of point um, the direction you need to go. So just keep following them, and you'll be fine. This should be a fight. Yep. Rag to rot. And take that. Got ourselves another gale. Yeah, oh, those uh, wing things will also drop them gales. Which we are going to need. If I don't have enough, I'm just gonna I'll grind off screen for them. Oh, come on. Uh, I don't want to save my magic. Also, I am higher level than usual because of that uh, grinding session I did. Um... Hence why it's a little- I uh, have a little bit easier time here. If, uh, you didn't do the grind session, I do recommend, uh, using Eroga for these fights, because they will hit and they will hit hard. But I don't think I'm gonna need them. Oh, you! Taste my lasers. Oh, and I learned counterattack, which I'm probably not gonna use. Honestly, yeah, at this- Ah, uh, actually, there is one of the optional. Actually, now I probably won't use it. Oh, thank you, Donald. Ragnarok. Fire. Yeah, the timing to unleash Ragnarok's, uh, it just takes practice. You just gotta know when it's gonna happen. Oh, come on. Die. Dude. Alright. Oh, Donald. I love you. That's the spirit. All right, let's continue along. Shit! Come on, cottage. Yeah, just keep following the arrows. I don't know if that was intended, but it works. Um, so there's that treasure chest over here. If you just follow like backwards from there. Oh, again, there's like kind of feel the invisible walls. You should be able to get this treasure chest by doing that. Or you can go into another fight. That works too. Alright. I'm on. Also, uh, I don't remember if gravity works well on them. Well, the thing is they do move around too much, so it's kind of hard to get gravity to work. I do have to remember to heal because I do not have second chance. Alright. Oh, come on. Alright. I dropped a potion like I need that. Oh, come on, you guys. That's the spirit. AP up. Alright. Go ahead and put that on. Uh, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and use, uh... Yeah, why not? Blood on up. I don't remember if this is a fight or not, but I do know we have a fight almost to be- Oh, okay. There's another fight right after this. Oh, come on! Don't! There we go. Fire. Oh, come on. Taste the rainbow. There we go. I guess I didn't need to heal, but that's okay. That's the spirit. Oh, we got a guilt from that. Okay, that was definitely worth doing then. Okay, I know for a fact that there's a fight. Right here. Uh, uh, let's just use an ether for Sora. Okay. Come on, I know you're coming. There we go. Watch out for the ball! And another freaking behemoth. This is what, the third one? Force. Yep, same strategy. Force. Okay. Alright. 
Dude, you can't do that. You can't use the same attack in a row. Oh. Be careful when- oh. Yeah, when he, like, releases- when he releases this warrant in the air, it does do damage too, and a lot of damage, so just be careful. Oh, by the way, I- I don't have Arsor King in them. I went ahead and went with Strike Rage instead. For now. I'll put it back on. When, ugh. How did I get that? I'll put it back on, like, near the end of this world. Anyway. Alright. You're dead. Alright, so we're done with this first area. We're on to the next area. It keeps getting darker. Dive in the most dangerous place. Yep. That's pretty much the strategy. Okay, there are a t there's quite a bit of treasure chests in this area. However, it's nothing but gummy ship parts. Um, and the thing is, since I uh, saved all the puppies, I completed the gummy ship collection, which means um, I can't I can't get them. So it's kind of pointless to go around getting them. So I'm just gonna jump in here. Okay, so now we're at what is pretty much an abridged version of all of our travels. So each one of those portals are going to lead us to a world that we have been to. Um, however, you only need to go to those if you have not locked the keyhole. So I think that one, the first one was Traverse Town, that one's Wonderland. This one I think is Olympus Coliseum and so, so on and so forth. Um, you just go in there and you fight a bunch of Heartless from their respective worlds. I'm just going to skip them because, again, it's just... It's just the same Heartless over again. There's really no need to show it off. You can definitely do it. Um, well, you need to do it if you skip a world. Like, for example, Atlantica and Hollow uh, Halloween Town are optional, so you might not do those. Um, and you can do them if you want, if you want some experience, but I don't really need it, so I'm just going to skip it. Anyway, we get to this green one. Ooh. Let's jump on in. Aww, hundred acre wood. Got a mega elixir. Save point right here. Uh, let's see. Nothing there. Okay. Let's go ahead and get out of here. And then there's this fire one. Okay. Let's jump on in. And I believe this is supposed to be Hollow Bastion. Like an area that we have not been to. Probably the Ansem's, uh, his research spot. Anyway, defeat the enemies. Oh! Dude, how dare you interrupt my lasers! That's not fair. I did the too, a little too early, that's okay. Okay. Oh! Uh, you can guard against those. And also Air Rogo will block those as well. Alright, so we come in here. I think there's a treasure. Oh, yep, treasure chest. An elixir. Very cool. This is a weird room, isn't it? That's Kingdom Hearts for you. So you have to examine this thing. One, one's. I cannot read. One's born of the heart and darkness, devoid of hearts, ravage all worlds and bring dis desolation. Seize all hearts and cons and consummate the great heart. All hearts to be one. One heart to encompass all. Realize this destiny. The realm of kingdom hearts. The great darkness sealed within the great heart. Prognity... Prog... Prog... I am sorry. Prognity of darkness. Come back to the internal darkness. For the heart of life shall unseal the path. Seven hearts. One keyhole. One key to the door. The door of darkness, tied by two keys. The door of darkness to seal the light. None shall pass but shadows, return, returning to the darkness. One's born of the heart of darkness, hunger for every heart, until the door opens. So, in summary, the door to darkness can be completely sealed by two key blades. But one of them has to be on either side of the door. That's essentially what it's saying. 
It kind of seems like gibberish, but it kind of is. Before I go out there, let me put, um, let's put an ether on. Um, okay, we're good. Actually, let's go ahead and use a... Okay, camping set, that's fine. I probably won't use that again. Because, um, we got ourselves a fight going on. And, oh boy. Let's jump back in here. Okay. Seriously, when I first heard this music, and I saw this character, I lost my mind. I seriously lost my mind. I was like, no they didn't. No they didn't. No they didn't. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Chernobog from Fantasia's Nightmare on Bold Mountain. Which is one of my favorite Disney movies. I love that movie. I watched it as a kid and I love it more than an adult. But I could not watch the Night on Bald, Mount Bald Mountain segment when I was a kid. It scared the crap out of me. I couldn't watch it until I was like maybe 14, which is pretty pathetic. That an egg. So, Chernobog, he's got a few uh, things up his sleeve. First of all, put on uh, Eroga. Because when you get close to him, every time it hits him, it's going to cause damage. Oh, this... That but that attack is deadly. As soon as you see him, like, go down like that, just go away. I think it's almost instant death in proud mode. You know, I, I definitely had a hard time with this fight when I was a kid. But just kind of play conservatively and hit him when you can. And he's not too bad. And he also has that attack where he pushes you. Just a minor annoyance. And he will send out those uh, ghost things to come after you. Just not that hard to avoid, honestly. Oh, shoot. And if you get caught in the fire like that, if you have Leaf Bracer, just use Heal. It should attack you three times. You'll get hit. Just use it after the first or the second hit. Uh. He's almost dead. There we go. Oh god, he used the attack after he died. <laughs> I've never seen him do that. But yeah, that is Chernobog. I definitely had a hard time with him when I was a kid. And he scared the crap out of me as a kid. But if you have not seen Fantasia, definitely check it out. I love that movie. And we learned Super Glide. Uh, do it? Quick. Oh, come on. It's under shared, right? Yeah. So same thing as regular glide, only you press uh, uh, square and you'll glide faster. Pretty useful. Now, if you want to, uh, you can uh, just fly back completely straight up and you'll go back to the next area. And then you can go ahead and save, save if you want. But I'm not going to. We'll just continue on. And we can... I didn't mention this, but you can actually fly in this area. Why can you only fly here in a Neverland? Because Kingdom Hearts. Anyway, we're gonna go... Okay, uh, wait, before I do any- before I go any further, let me s- High post- do I want to put- Okay, um, I guess I'll be fine. Okay, this part, I have to admit, is so freaking cheap. You're just walking, you're walking, you're minding your own business, you're just walking through, you go through the portal. Oh, isn't this nice? Let the do to do but what the- I'm like, what? Why did they do that? That is so cheap. Anyway, this is our fourth behemoth. I told you we'd be fighting a lot of these guys. All right. Yep. Exact same strategy. Yeah. 
Yeah, these guys... This thing's pretty cool when you first see him, but... But after the fourth time, it's like, really? Another one? Uh, I don't think I can. Oh, no. No, no, no. Okay. Oh! Dude! Get up his butt. Okay. Okay, right here. If you can, try to mash the pause button. Ah, uh, darn, I didn't get it. You can actually go into the uh, the main menu if you can if you can do it just right, but I didn't do it right. And now I'm gonna go bring out Tinkerbell. We have a major, 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 major gauntlet. And this part of the game is in level one is evil, and I mean evil. So we first have Dark Balls, not too hard to take care of. And but because I have Tinkerbell, I can't use Ragnarok, which kind of sucks, but I like to have the insurance. Actually, use Aroga. There we go. Thank you. Okay, next round, bunch of invisibles. Yeah, this... This gauntlet goes on forever. <laughs> oh, but I still got a gale. Come on. Okay, oh yeah. Forgot to, uh, so yeah, that little- that attack thing, the invisibles, um... That little circle. At just the right time, jump. I totally failed. But if you jump, it won't get you. If it does it again. Oh, like right here. Jump! Why am I failing? Why do you fail, Sora? Uh. Yeah, like I said, this... I still have PTSD from level 1. <laughs> this was so hard in level 1. Oh, okay. So he puts down his sword. He's gonna... Okay. Now jump! Ah. I don't know why I keep failing at that. Okay. That one's done. Alright, bunch of- Actually, I think they're called angels. These things. Quite an unusual name for a heartless. The angels, but I think that's what they're called. Ah, uh, tornado things just keep... Dodge rolling. Another gale. Awesome. Oh, come- Dude. Aroga. Again, I mostly use Aroga so it can do does extra damage to them. Alright, there's another one. I'm gonna go ahead and use an ether. Oh my god. I don't think we're even halfway done with this. Uh. Anyway, okay, I wanted to ask everybody that's watching, what has been your favorite world in this game in particular? Mine, I said earlier, was Halloween Town. My least favorite is Atlantica. Let me know in the comments if you've played this game or if you watched my whole uh, my whole series. What has been your favorite world and your least favorite? I'm not really a big fan of this world. It's just... It's not awful. It's just kind of bland compared to the others. I thought Hollow Bastion was a better final world. Anyway. I think we're getting close. I think... Yeah, you definitely don't want to die after coming this far. 
Oh, I forgot to mention the um, the emblem piece. Um, you'll see it's falling. And the more heartless you kill, the the more that'll fall off, and that'll lead to the next part of the world. I'm gonna go and use Aroga, because why not? I think there might be one other gauntlet. Okay, I think this is the last bit. I think. Also, I'm not really using magic because it's, um, these are stronger heartless and I don't have the third upgrade for each of the magic spells, so, I mean, you can definitely still use it, but it won't be as effective as it was before. Oh, Aroga. Uh-huh. Tried to kill me, but Aroga saved me. Alright, come on. Dude. Stop running away. Another gale. I think... Okay, never mind. Yeah, that's the thing. When you think you're done, more stuff comes out. <laughs> I, I remember I first played this part. I was like, really? How long could this go on? I don't think I died, but... It was like, come on. And it's so much worse than level one. Uh, both Donald and Goofy are dead. Oh, never mind. Donald just woke up. Oh, uh, jump. Come on, guys. We could do it. Oh, there we go. There we go. Ooh. That was something. But we did it. We did it! Woo! 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 Alright. Let us enter. Save point right there. Oh, yeah. Let's get that. Alright. So, as you see, there's a door here. This is the point of no return. This will lead to the final boss of the game. So, if you are ready, you can go ahead and take them on, but we still got a lot of stuff to do. Well, maybe not a lot, but some stuff to do. So, you know what it's time for? You guys know what it's time for? It's time for the games! <laughs>